Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna be looking at our module five lesson 10 page. If you don't have this page, that's okay. You can kind of work along with me as you do it. You can also um, wait and do this part of the lesson a little later if you want to, because if you're in my class, you might be getting it in the mail if you haven't gotten it already. So the dividing by eight part, I'm gonna leave alone. Please remember that if you're dividing by eight, it's also like multiplying by eight. So if you know what eight, eight times something will give you 16, you'll know that this number is when you multiply eight times this to get 16. But I'm gonna let you do the divide by eight on your own. So I'm gonna come down here and do comparing fractions with greater than, less than, or equal to. So I'm gonna to try to do this so that you can work along with me, but then also do it on your own. So if you want to figure it out on your own, feel free. You can pause this video anytime you want to. So the first one is already colored in for us. They want to know which is greater than or less than. So one fifth compared to four fifths. So this is one fifth shaded in and this is four fifths. So we know that one fifth is less than four fifths. Now, if we come over to the next one, they want us to divide the boxes up, and that's a little tricky to do, but I'm gonna try it on here too, but then I'm also gonna show you with fraction tiles. So they're comparing one fourth and one half. So I'm gonna divide this as carefully as I can. Four, one, two, three, four, and I'm dividing this one in half. So I know that this part is my half, and then this part, is my one fourth. So you go ahead and you decide if it's greater than, less than, or equal to, and then I'm also gonna show you the fraction tiles for this. So it's one fourth compared to one half. So for this one, one fourth is less than one half. You had that great job. If you're not sure why it is, it's because the size of it, it would take two of these to make up one half. One fourth is less than one half. For this one, we have one sixth divided by, or and compare it to one third. So I'm gonna divide my third first because I kinda do, I like to do the, the smaller pieces or the bigger pieces first, so I know where I'm at. So if I divide it kind of like a peace sign, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna do one third again, but then I'm also gonna do another line, another line, and another line. Not my best effort, but I'm working on it. So I'm gonna shade in one sixth of that circle and one third of that circle. So if I'm looking at them, is one sixth less than, greater than, or equal to one third. If you wanna pause the video and put in your own sign, go ahead, see if you're right. I'm gonna get out the tiles just to show you. And if you like doing bar graphs or tape diagrams or instead of circles, feel free to change that up a little bit. But I'm gonna compare one sixth to one third. One sixth is less than one third. All right, so this is one whole. So I'm not doing anything to this one other than coloring in the whole thing because we're talking about the whole thing. So for this one, it's five fifths. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, and that's five. And then I'm gonna color in five fifths. One, two, three, four, five. So is one whole greater than, less than, or equal to five fifths? So I'm going to get out my pieces while you're look, you're figuring that one out. So you fill in that bubble if you want to, or just do it on a whiteboard or a piece of paper. So I need five fifths, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. So what do you notice? Is one whole greater than, less than, or equal to one fifth? That is equal to. 
All right, so let me put this one away because our next one is one fourth versus one seventh. Now this is tricky. I don't have any tiles to help me with my one seventh, but I'm gonna show you what I think I can do instead. But I'm gonna start with drawing my lines. So I'm gonna divide my first box into one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna color in one fourth of that. Now over here is seven. So I'm gonna divide it into seven segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one seventh colored in. So while you're figuring that out, is one fourth greater than, less than, or equal to one seventh? I'm gonna do a little comparison of my own. I'm gonna do one fourth. I'm gonna do one sixth, which would be less than one seventh. And I'm gonna do one eighth, which would be one more than one seventh. And I think you can tell by this and our diagram we draw over here, which one is going to be the greater than. And this one is going to be one fourth is greater than one seventh. And remember, when you're dividing fractions, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the piece, because you're dividing it amongst more pieces. So over here, we have one half. Love to do one half. I'm gonna do it this way. Do it right in half and then shade it in. And then over here, you have one fifth. So you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. That was not my most equally divided piece. Also doing it with a marker. I don't recommend doing yours with a marker. Do it with a pencil, much easier. So you decide if one half is greater than, less than, or equal to one fifth. So here's my half. Here's my one fifth. Is one half greater than, less than, or equal to one fifth? And it is greater than. Okay. So for this one, we're doing one eighth compared to one eighth. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Let's go color in one eighth. Over here, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to compare it right there. So is one eighth greater than, less than, or equal to one eighth? So I'm going to leave that right there. You make your decision on this one and see what you want. I'm going to show you with fraction tiles. 1 8th compared to 1 8th. So 1 8th compared to 1 8th. 1 8th is equal to 1 8th. They're the same piece. They are perfectly aligned. And over here we have 1 3rd versus 3 thirds. So when you're doing a circle in dividing into fractions, I tend to put a dot in the middle and then draw like spokes from a bike out. So one third would be, there's my three pieces, and then I would shade in that. This one, same thing. I have to draw my dot in the middle. But I'm also gonna color in three of these, because it says three thirds. Hmm. Is one third less than, greater than, or equal to? I'm gonna have a hard time showing you this one too, because this is one third and this is two thirds. But if I do this, that's another third. So I'm gonna stick it right there. So I know the sixes might be a little confusing, but that's another way to show a third. Oops, that one's upside down. So is one third greater than, less than, or equal to three thirds? You might not even need the fraction tiles on this as well. So, for this, one third is less than three thirds. So, I hope you had some fun comparing tiles. I know you're going to tell me, hey, Mrs. Flunchin, we're not done yet. Well, the last question is asking me, Abby eats one fourth 
It should be of her granola bar. Grace eats one third of her granola bar. Who eats more? So this is your question to answer. And then comment below about who, or comment in class. I'll, I'll show you where to comment so that you can tell me which of the two eats more. You can do it on your own paper and then just tell me who eats more. You can do it on a scrap piece of paper. You can do it however you want to, but I want you to tell me who eats more and how you decided and how you figured it out. So thank you for coming in today and checking out some fractions. I hope you had a good day um, and we will do some more math tomorrow. <laughs>